The Volkswagen T-Roc Cabriolet is the only convertible model currently on offer from Volkswagen, following the discontinuation of the Golf Cabrio, Beetle Cabrio, and the EOS. As such, it represents a fresh take on the convertible SUV concept, a niche that has been relatively unexplored by other car manufacturers. Volkswagen launched the T-Roc Cabriolet, and it has remained in the lineup even after the T-Roc range received a mid-life facelift. From a design perspective, the T-Roc Cabriolet features a somewhat boxy roof profile that neatly settles into a concealed space when lowered. The vehicle also includes a prominent ducktail boot spoiler to enhance its proportions when viewed from the side. On the road, the car provides an acceptably quiet ride with the roof up, though tire noise can be noticeable at highway speeds. Lowering the roof is a nearly silent operation that takes just 11 seconds at speeds of up to 19 miles per hour. The car's interior has been improved since the initial launch of the T-Roc, with Volkswagen addressing some of the criticisms about the quality of the materials. The dashboard is now soft touch, and the hard, hollow door trim has been replaced with fabric as standard, or fake leather in upper specs. However, not all changes have been positive. The infotainment system, while more tablet-like, remains laggy and frustrating to use. The buttoned climate control panel has also been replaced with an unintuitive touch button panel. Pricing for the T-Roc Cabriolet starts at £31,820, around £6,000 more than the basic hardtop T-Roc. The range is kept simple, with only three choices of engine and gearbox, two trim levels, and eight paint colors. The roof is available only in black. The preferred choice within the range is the Volkswagen 1.5 TSI Design 2-door DSG model. Overall, the T-Roc Cabriolet represents a unique addition to the market, with no direct rivals as such. This might be due to the lack of demand for compact crossover convertibles or because only Volkswagen has chosen to take a chance on this niche. The looks are subjective and the added weight does affect the drive, but Volkswagen has addressed most of the initial criticisms, especially those concerning the interior. The vehicle's appeal may hinge on how comfortable potential buyers are with its unique image and what sort of message it sends to the world. Despite its unique features, Volkswagen expects only 7% of T-Roc sales to be the Cabriolet model. So the T-Roc Cabriolet will remain a relatively rare sight, which could appeal to those who value exclusivity. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more car reviews and updates. See you in the next video.